Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed Friday, my people. Man, this is this is definitely whoo. Look, as you can see, um, from my title, this is gonna sound like fire and brimstone, but it's for a uh, it's definitely needed. Um, Isaiah 42 and 8. Isaiah 42 and 8 is the, um, the foundation of this word. And um, I'm speaking primarily to those who live in El Paso. I'm speaking to those, El Paso, Texas to be exact. I'm speaking to my Latinos, my Hispanic community. I'm speaking to those who um, are still practicing Catholicism. I'm speaking to those who come from a family, a lineage of Catholics, and were brought up to think that, um, you know, cleansing yourself will cleanse you from bad spirits and, and cleansing yourself with an egg um, can, can heal you from a sickness. Let me, let me tell you something, all right? Let me tell you something. There there is 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 um there is a forewarning going go in this the sound of a forewarning in this message to those who are still practicing this who those who still um partake in these things because it was tradition because it was the way you were taught it was the way you were taught to believe see here's the thing god gives us grace he gives us mercy. He gives us time to repent. And many times we, we, we can come in ignorance and say, you know what? I didn't know that, Lord, or God, forgive me for doing this. But here's the thing. We're coming into a season. We're coming into a season and a time where God is no longer going to turn his, his shoulder on things, going to wink at things, going to say, I'm going to let this fly by. And one of the things that God cannot stand is the practice of witchcraft, all forms. I don't care how um, 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 pure and innocent and, and, and spiritual and godly you try to make it. In God's eyes, these practices are detestable. That means he hates them it's considered prostitution in his eyes to worship idols and graven images because here is the thing okay and again i'm talking to those who live primarily in the el paso region all right um this is the area that i'm assigned to that i'm called to so this is why this word is being released but if you live in a predominantly hispanic community and even for my african-american folk who you know do all this ancestral worship and and these practices take heed because a lot of that is mixed don't be deceived god will not be mocked okay what we sow we shall reap that is a law that is a spiritual principle that nothing or no one can eradicate okay god can't go back on his word if that's what his word says then that's what it's gonna be that's going to be the verdict that's going to be the judgment amen so we need to stop thinking as if what we do we won't receive consequences because that is a lie from the pit of hell and i think a lot of us do things thinking that we are are going to to, to um, be free from consequences God forgives yes he says he throws our sins in, in a sea of forgetfulness so he will not hold those things that you repent and ask for forgiveness for he will not hold you accountable for those things but it doesn't mean it eradicates the consequences that come from our choices and we got to grow up we have to understand this. Now, if you are a believer, if you are Christian, okay, this is who I am talking to. But if you're not a believer, if you're still dabbling in things, if you're still worshiping idols because you think that's the way to God, let me tell you, it is a deceptive practice, okay? A lot of Catholics believe that by praying to certain saints that it is their intercessor. The only intercessor we have is Jesus Christ himself. He is the one that we intercede 
two and he is the one who is in heavenly places seated in heavenly places at the right hand of the father he is the only one and the only reason why we have access to god the father and we do it by the power of the holy spirit we don't go to saints you can't pray to the virgin mary you can't pray to a santo nino you can't pray to the divino nino you can't pray to all of these santo nino de atoches and whatever else you want to call them they will not get you to god the father they will not get you to god the father amen and so many people are bound to these deceptive beliefs these religious systems and and they want they think that they if they sacrifice themselves and and they walk up and they go to mexico and and they go up the mountain to the virgen de guadalupe and pay these mandas that god is going to eradicate their sins and forgive them no what you're doing is binding yourself even more to demonic principalities that have have power to have influence in your life whether you believe this or not that is that is solely up to you i am just sharing what the word of god says because here's the thing i was brought up in catholicism i was brought up to believe that there are gifted people that call themselves curanderos and curanderas and psychics that they can tell your future that they can reveal your future through some tarot cards if you mix some honey in a jar and put a name on a popsicle stick that that will help your your relationship and if you go and, and, and bury dead bones of an animal to a cemetery, and if you carry these charms around, that it will attract prosperity. Those are all lies from the pit of hell. And if you practice these things, or if you partake and you engage and you believe these things, this is an opportunity for you to repent and to ask God to forgive you because you are buying into a lie. Do you not know that these people, that they call themselves psychics, that they have these little shops and storefronts at the corner that's their church y'all these are false prophets these are considered false prophets because they believe that they can tell you your future the only one that can tell you your future is God all they can do is reveal knowledge to you knowledge in the present tense and that's how they they buy they get you to buy into their lie and then once they start it's a hook that they use because they start to reveal knowledge through what is called familiarity familiar spirits and these spirits are things we know the accountability we have to share the truth and I'm not gonna go and be accountable to any blood that's on my hands when the Lord said why didn't you share this see I can easily go tell somebody but why if I can do this live and reach more than one person God will not share his glory with nobody. And these psychics, they want the glory. These false so-called prophets who supposedly can foretell your future and throw cards at you and tell you to go light up a white candle and tell you to do all of these uh, erroneous and, and ridiculous practices. I speak from a place that knows how these places and these things work. I know what I'm talking about. These aren't just mere accusations. I know exactly how these places work. Ask me why and how. I've seen these people lie to family members. I've seen these people hook family members to make them think that they can foretell their future. All they can do is reveal knowledge and that's all the devil can give them is knowledge. And the only reason they have access to that knowledge is because that person is probably not saved. Woo. Here's the thing. God is not going to share his glory with anybody. And if you have anybody that is making false promises that can that tells you that they have the, the, the remedy, that they can give you some concoction on how to receive your healing, they are a liar. You need to run and you need to repent and you need to renounce that thought. You need to renounce what they spoke into you and you need to turn to Jesus. Jesus is the only one that can save. Jesus is the only one that can heal. 
God is not going to share his glory with a man. God will call chosen vessels that he's qualified to carry that kind of anointing. So yes, you will see Christian men and women carry the healing power of God through the power of the Holy Spirit. But we know where we get that power from and we don't take glory. This flesh does not get glory when God does something. These psychics, these curanderos, these white so-called witches, they want the glory. They want to be, to be looked at as if they're the ones that carry the power. God is not going to share his glory. God is not going to share his glory. And that's how you know. That's how you know. You got to pay little $20 here. They won't ask you up front unless they're running their, their business like a real psychic. But all these little moms and pop shops that run out of their house calling themselves white witches, curanderos. Oh, a curandero is someone who, who believes they can cure, that they have healing powers. Every person I've known to go to these places, including myself, has ended up worse. That's how you know they're false. That's how you know the source in which this so-called power comes from is false. It's not no, there's no such thing as a white witch. Don't let these women and these men tell you that what they practice is through prayer and what they practice because they pray to saints. This is why you can get your healing because they don't do the dark stuff. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Ooh. Hallelujah. God is not going to share his glory with anybody. And I've seen so many people in my in my family taken out by these lies. But here's the thing. God has given us all a free will. And he says, I place before you life and death. Choose life so that your children may live. You know why he says so that your children may live? Because he knows how blessings and curses come through generations. Read your Bible. If you're not familiar, if you're not Christian, read your Bible. You may not be able to retain any of that information because it's only by the way of the Holy Spirit where we catch that revelation and understanding. But if you want to know the truth, here is an opportunity to turn your life to Jesus because he is coming. He is coming again. And I always say it's not tomorrow. Even Jesus doesn't know when he's he's coming back, but he is coming. Again, God gives us all space and grace and mercy. He gives us that time to repent. But let me tell you something. If you watch this video. And this isn't a fear tactic. I'm just telling you what I know according to the word. You will be held accountable for the information that you know. And if you continue to engage, the Bible says to know, to do right and not do it is sin. And if I'm telling you that engaging in these practices, any form of witchcraft, sorcery, hoodoo, voodoo, whatever you want to call it, wherever you come from, every culture has its own name on it. You will be held accountable. Ooh, Jesus. The Lord has spoken. And now I want to offer an opportunity. Because I'm just not going to call fire and brimstone down. Without giving you the opportunity that was given to me years ago. Jesus. Listen. Listen. My life was falling apart and I got so desperate that that's what I started turning to. But the Lord allowed me to see, even in my ignorance, I had no faith in that stuff. That was just my last resort. I was so desperate for change in my life. And to think that's how desperate I got. I never believed in that crap. I had family members who believed in it and I never did. But yet I turned to it. How desperate could I have been? I wanted change in my life. And it was extended to me. God had to take my butt all the way to California for me to finally see the opportunity he was presenting before me. And I knew since a little kid. 
But again, free will. We all have it. We all have free will. God does not override it. Ain't that something? Because he wants us to choose. He wants us to choose. Because guess what? We can't go back and say, but God, this, God, that. Nope. You have a choice just like I did. And I'm offering you Jesus. That's the only thing I can do. The same thing that was offered to me when I was ignorant, when I was desperate, when I knew I needed change and I didn't know how to get it. Now you got to do is repeat after me and say, Father, forgive me. I know and I believe that I that I am a sinner because you're not in my life. And I believe that's why you sent your son Jesus to die for me. I believe that he is the only way to you, that he is the truth, that he is the life. And I want access to you, Father. And so, Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins, all of my transgressions. Whew. Blot out my iniquities. I renounce all deceptive practices in the name of Jesus. Anything that I've engaged with, all forms of witchcraft. I tell you. All forms of witchcraft, Father, I renounce it now in Jesus' name because I believe that the blood of Jesus has the power to eradicate those curses. And so I receive you, Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior, my Deliverer and my Healer. I put my trust in you. Holy Spirit, I ask you to lead me and guide me into all truth and understanding. I give my life to you, Father. I believe And who repeated that prayer and personalized it? You just made a commitment to the Lord. And now I highly encourage you to find a church where they teach sound biblical doctrine. Non-denominational, if possible. Oh God. Whoo, hallelujah. I want to personally invite you to where I've been going for years, where I've grown tremendously in my faith, in my walk. It is 1208 Sumac Joy Center Church. I am personally inviting you out so that you can hear the word for yourself. You can know the truth for yourself. Go back. Go back to everything that I just said.